Hi, this is Thomas from Gateway Clinical, your number one source for information about autonomic nervous system testing. If you are a doctor, practice manager, or patient, these videos will contain extremely useful information about this exciting and growing field of practice. While I am not a physician myself, I have had many years of experience in the area of ANS testing. To find out more about ANS testing, you can follow me here or click on the link below to visit gatewayclinical.com. Hey, this is Thomas with Gateway Clinical, and I am here to speak with you today about cardiac autonomic neuropathy, or CAN. CAN is damage to the autonomic nerve fibers that innervate the heart and blood vessel, resulting in abnormalities in heart rate control and vascular dynamics. CAN is extremely significant. Studies demonstrate that cardiac autonomic neuropathy increases the risk of a cardiovascular event by three to four times. A recent study showed that diabetic patients with CAN have an increased risk of severe hypoglycemia. Now, with the heart control, you can think of it as plumbing and electricity. The plumbing is your blood vessels and uh, the blood pumping through your heart, whereas the electricity is the way that your brain communicates with your heart. Cardiac autonomic neuropathy affects that communication. If there is a short circus in that communication, your heart rate can go up and down and at not good times, inopportune times, or potentially um, problematic times, and you can lose control of your heart, the muscles in your heart. So it is very important uh, if you are experiencing symptoms to look into whether or not you are potential for cardiac autonomic neuropathy. During an ANS evaluation, the cardiac autonomic neuropathy assessment comprises of the heart rate variability analysis and the cardiac autonomic reflexes test or Ewing tests. These tests the function of the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems to identify cardiac autonomic neuropathy. There are a series of tests including the Valsalva ratio, deep breathing test, a change in posture, and the difference of systolic pressure from sitting to standing position. Heart rate variability is a variation in time interval between heartbeats. It is measured by the variation in the beat-to-beat -beat intervals. The autonomic nervous system plays a central role in heart rate variability. Depressed or reduced heart rate variability primarily means a lower ability of the ANS regulatory function to keep homeostasis, cope with internal and external stressors, and resist disease and or recover in proper time. The Valsalva maneuver involves holding the breath, bearing down, and then blowing into a manometer without releasing air from the nose or mouth. Its purpose is to evaluate the parasympathetic system heart rate response and sympathetic system blood pressure response. The deep breathing test involves deep breathing for a total of 60 seconds, five second intervals of inspiration and expiration. Its purpose is to evaluate the parasympathetic system heart rate response. The postural change test involves a change in posture from lying down or sitting to standing. The purpose of this test is to evaluate the sympathetic system blood pressure response to standing and the parasympathetic evaluation of heart rate response. The R to R intervals and blood pressure analysis combine to give a diagnosis of cardiac autonomic neuropathy using a scoring system. Heart rate variability analysis is rest include of includes self body regulation assessment related to the level of fitness in early stages of cardiac autonomic neuropathy. Cardiac autonomic reflex tests include heart rate variability and blood pressure analysis during Valsalva maneuver, deep breathing, and change of posture. If you have found this information valuable but still have more questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly. I can be contacted through our website at www.gatewayclinical.com or emailed at thomas at gatewayclinical.com. I will do my best to quickly answer any questions you may have, but we also offer hourly consulting for practices that need more comprehensive training. Thank you, and I look forward to hearing from you.